Jessica's kind of obsessing over these mossy rocks. I'm geeking out. It's like things that always seen in like uh, fantasy films of like uh, woodland fairies and stuff. I'm like totally geeking out because I've never gotten to see a real one. It's neat. Are you excited for what we're going to be doing today? Yeah. It's yeah. so soft. This is actually like the moss is dried out. It's usually really squishy, but it's still so soft. Growing up, both Jessica and I always wanted to visit the redwood trees up in Northern California. And never in a million years did I ever think that we'd actually be visiting them. And here we are today. Just look at how massive this tree is. One of many. Go ahead, Jessica, walk up there. This thing is insanely huge. It's blowing my mind. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Today's adventure brings us to Leggett, California, the home of the drive through tree. I know you've seen this tree, possibly on like an old postcard or old magazine ads where back in the 50s and 60s, people drive through this giant redwood tree. We're gonna be doing it today. And guess what? You know how I love it. They have a gift shop. And in case you're not familiar with it, there is an actual painted example at the entrance. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. You ready? So mystical. All right, let's do this. This is probably the closest thing that we're gonna to get to like Lord of the Rings without being in like New Zealand. I feel like Zealand. a fairy or an elf. Oh, so many choices. Oh, wow. This is quite an experience. And still none of these are so large that you can take your car through it. See the carvings are like every so often. So throughout the drive, they have these little wooden carved figures, these animals. It's beautiful. I had no idea. I, I really just thought it was a tree that you just drive through and then that's it. All right, here we go. The chandelier tree, height 315 feet, diameter 21 feet, maximum age 2,400 years. drive through tree in Leggett, California. This is really cool. You definitely want to turn in your mirrors for this. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Just looking at these trees, it is just blowing my mind. Right now we're standing on the other side of the chandelier tree. There's another car getting ready to go through it. They can fit. They just gotta have a little bit of faith. I think they're debating if they're going to get stuck. No, they're good. Oh, they got plenty of room. What do you think, Jessica? How was it? It's amazing. It's really cool. But as you can see with the car coming through, you do want to turn in your mirrors because you might get stuck if you don't. Yeah. And you can drive through as many times as you want. The first time that we drove through, there was a family that ran up to the very front. Let's go over there since there's no cars coming. They ran up to the very front while we were driving through to get their photos. And we're like, no, don't do that. We almost hit you. <laughs> do not get run over, please. So not only can you drive through it, you can walk through can it. Can I touch the top? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Chandelier tree. Okay, I'm five foot three. You're six foot two. You might not, you might have to duck. I'll just, I'll just, my head will just touch it. Mm. 
crazy, right? Oh, this is so cool. This is the epitome of Americana roadside attractions, right? Right off the Highway 101 here in California, the chandelier tree. It doesn't get any cooler than this. I'm so glad we did this, baby ghoul. Stand up super okay. straight. I want to see if you touch. Almost. Oh, almost by maybe like, I think two and a half like inches. An inch, inch and a half. Yeah. Very cool. I can move the tree. You will move. Wow, it goes straight up. This is like the center. <laughs> of course, this place is known for the chandelier tree you can drive through but they do have some hiking trails. You can walk around and see some of these majestic, I think that's the right word, redwood trees. Baby girl, what are you doing? Becoming one with nature. You can't see me. <laughs> Jessica's having a lot of fun walking through the woods and trying to find all the little creatures. There's some right here. What'd you find over there? Bird. A bird? I want to say it's a pheasant, but don't quote me on that. Oh, let's take a look at him. See that? This is, this is really cool. Very slick. So I got to watch my footing. Oh, wow. By all means, if you come here, visit the chandelier tree, drive through the tree itself, but do yourself a favor and hike the trails because there's cool things to see such as this. I mean, basically, I just walked through a, re a redwood tree. Michael is six foot two. That's, That's right. That's how tall he is. <laughs> Walk down to the far end and see just how big this is. Did you see that it's open over here on this end, baby ghoul? something else that you can climb through, but I'll climb in it. So yeah, I'm six two. So I have to slouch just a little bit. Crazy, right? Can you imagine playing hide and go seek in a redwood forest? Wait a second, are you laying down on the job? I'm hugging a tree. You're, oh, you're hugging a tree. You gotta lay down because it's so big. You know, a lot of people are gonna look at this video, they're gonna watch this video and they'll say, wait a second, they moved to California and now they're tree huggers. Oh, I was a tree hugger long before that. I've been hugging trees my whole life. <laughs> I talk to them too, you know. She does, she does talk to the trees. Here's inside, look at that. <laughs> she can't get up. I'm, we're just sitting here watching you. Okay. You got this. You gotta back out. Well, I was gonna roll down the log and just like slide out, but then I realized it's full of dirt, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> but no, look, I came out clean. I'm look fine. at that. It's a clean tree. It's very soft. Right? Like it's so smooth. Touch as much as you want. You're not gonna get splinters. No splinters. No splinters. Dirt though, a little bit dirty. But... A little dirty. Jessica found more wood carvings down here at the other end of the tree trunk, which I think is absolutely fitting because earlier we were talking about how being here reminded us of the movie called uh, Harry and the Hendersons. That's pretty wild. And then we come over here and we see that they have these giant Sasquatches, Bigfoot here in the trees. You just love climbing things. I grew up in the woods. I grew up deep country Missouri, so yeah, I'm kind of used to it. Can you imagine if that Sasquatch tooted? You're right there. Gross. 
And of course, just like everything else, you really have to look to see all the finer details right here. The tree trunk that that Sasquatch is standing on is a little bear. How cool is that? Here's some gratuitous Sasquatch butt for you. But. <laughs> but, but it's all for a good cause, literally. Well, really, because down here behind this Sasquatch, there's a little bear just chilling out. How you doing, my friend? I wonder though, because if you look at their feet and at the bottom of the bear, this is all one piece of wood. So <laughs> they carved? carved it from a single tree, one piece. I mean, the craftsmanship is, is amazing. I can't do it. No, I could, I can carve a stick out of a stick. I could carve a stick out of a stick. It might not be the right stick in the end, but it, it will be a stick. I'm going to make you a custom toothpick, baby girl. Thank you. That is so thoughtful. You're welcome. Leggett, California, the chandelier tree. We drove through an ancient redwood tree that's thousands mm -hmm. of years old. And I think it's still growing because the center's been cut out, but it's still standing. It still has healthy right limbs and, and branches. And I think it's still growing. Are you glad we came here? Oh, absolutely. This is pretty much mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere. And it's so 100% worth it. I had a lot more fun than I thought we would, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I keep watching cars because it's right over there i keep watching the big cars to see if they get stuck because there's been a couple of times i think they might not have made it but each one made it barely so far barely oh so barely yeah. so barely i think we had as much fun as we're gonna have i think it's about time for us to go but before we do that we have to check out the gift shop you know how i love gifts little roadside gift shops we have the perfect view Right in front of us is the chandelier tree. We're gonna show you guys in just a moment. There's maybe six cars, and we're sitting here, almost like we're judging the Olympics, going, who's going to scrape? Who's going to scrape? Who's gonna get stuck? Right? So we just left the gift shop, and Jessica and I, we love buying kitschy little gifts from roadside shops. And of course, we picked this up, which is the chandelier tree, and this old style car driving through it. Like six ninety five plus tax. It'll go in our refrigerator. Our refrigerator is full. All right, here comes another one. This is our view of the chandelier tree of people coming through. The cars are easy. You know, as long as they keep driving through straight, mm -hmm. they're easy. Look at us. We're like sports announcers. You see and a lot of people out of the cars, like the girl is walking through, photographing the car coming through. Look how tight a fit that is, though. You have maybe an inch on each side. I do feel like an announcer. <laughs> oh, they don't have their mirrors in. Oh. Oh, oh, last minute, this truck put their mirrors in, which is a smart thing to do. Good thing, guys. You guys are clear. That's cool. Oh, this, this SUV has their mirrors out as well. It looks like they're going to hit. Oh, oh, let's get a closer look at this one. Oh. Oh, uh, they got it though. Take it slow. Look at all these cars. It's, it's like this. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that was so close. Good job. I just love looking up in the sky, at the top of the trees. All right, here we go. Last car. And how appropriate. It's a green one, and they're taking their time coming through. There's Jessica over there. Should give you some idea how massive this tree is. Oh, they got it. Very cool, right? <laughs> you did it! I know, 
I know. There's a whole bunch of these shots that I keep doing, following the tree all the way down. It's just gorgeous, and I can't stop. Now, you ready for the biggest dad joke pun of this entire video? We're not out of the woods just yet. Heading out, we come across this thing. It's called the World Famous Treehouse. Believe it or not. And there's an open sign. Now, sadly, before we go any further, they are closed. And it looks like they've been closed for quite some time. There's a little bear here greeting us saying, welcome, even though the E is gone. Jessica's down there exploring. But before we go and check it out, further down in, look at this. It's like a little home. I mean, it's the world famous tree house. See? World famous tree house, believe it or not. There's a window there, which means obviously there's got to be a door. So let's walk over here. Now, sadly, this place is closed. And like I said, it looks like it's been closed for quite some time. And you're going to see what I mean here in just a moment. There's the bear greeting us. But just look, man. I hate when this happens to roadside attractions. It probably was really cool. I wish we could get on the inside of this place. But we can. Looks like this wood carving of this bear has seen better days. It's missing a good chunk of it. I don't know what this is, but there's a little deck over here. And I was going to walk out and look, but there's a sign that says, please stay off deck. And you know what? I don't want to get hurt. It doesn't look too sturdy, does it? But at one point, this was something. Not anymore. Sad, but yet it's beautiful in its decay. All right, baby girl, while I was looking at the world famous treehouse itself over there, you did a little bit of exploring. Is there anything down there that we should go see? Is there any like remnants of this old place here? I would not suggest it. Okay. Um, I went down to see if I could at least get close to the old buildings just to take a look. And it looks like it is still a private residence. It looks like people may be home and I don't want to disturb them. So. Um, kept my distance, but it seems like on the property there are several buildings that used to be functioning. One says it was a game room, one says it was a um, little market store, and the other one was a gift shop. And if you look inside the windows, all the merchandise and everything is still in there. But looks like it's just now a private residence of something that has sadly fallen away. Yeah, been left to de decay been here in the woods. Been left to go back to the world, yeah. I see a, a little somebody poking out behind you. Oh, What's going guy. on here? I don't know what he is, but I love him. I love that pretty much everywhere <laughs> here in this forest, there's these little wooden creatures. Yeah, I think it's meant to be a squirrel. I like a chip. I'm going to say squirrel. He's a squirrel. Oh, and there's something on the back, too. What is that? Is that an Another owl? bear. No, there's so many bears everywhere. There's a giant Indian head over here. A big I know. Bus. This, is this is massive and impressive. This, too, is one giant piece of wood, so it was one massive tree. That's a very big tree. Ah, and see, look, there's another bear there. There's just things hidden everywhere. And those are trees. Very sweet. Oh, yeah. Those are trees. I know I say this all the time, but I absolutely love exploring with you. And we love exploring with you. Ooh. I don't want to walk too far on the property because I don't want to disturb people. But there's a couple more wood carvings here that I wanted to take a look at. Like this seahorse over here. Just look at the detail of that. All at the base of this giant tree. And then over here, this was the gift shop. There's more wood carvings on the back porch. Oh man, this, everything about this is just phenomenal closed. I don't know if we can see inside. Not really. It looks like now it's just storage. I can see some old racks, like display racks, but that's about it. Of course, 
We call ourselves Grim Life Collective. We love all things grim and spooky and horror, but we do have a very soft spot in our, ha in our heart for roadside attractions and kitschiness, especially when it comes to Americana. Cool, right? God, I wish it was still open. Yes, you can go ahead and kiss that bear. But if we see a real bear in the woods, you cannot kiss it. You can rub noses. There you go. Boop. You are too cute. It's kind of like, it gives me a little bit of anxiety because the face is so real. And it's like, oh, it's got little teeth. I'm like, please don't bite me. Oh, it's wood. Jessica's quite the explorer, isn't she? You seeing anything down there? Here, let me come down to you. So it's very hard to see in the window, but what you can see is this sign. What's it say? Tallest one room house in the world, believe it or not. Height, 250 feet. Oh, I love this. Estimated age, 4,000 years. Burned out 300 years ago. And the tree is still growing. You can see where that photo is. You can see the charred wood. God, that's amazing. Baby girl, you missed it earlier. You were exploring, and I made the ultimate woodsy dad joke on camera. I said, we thought we were done with the video over at the chandelier tree, and I said, we're not out of the woods just yet. Boom, that was a good knee slapper. And we came across this place. How do you feel? Tell us about your first experience with Redwoods and driving through the tree and then this. I mean, we, this place is closed, wish it was still open, but what uh, do you think? I mean, I know that we're not into the thick of it yet, you know? We got more um, to go, bigger trees. We're like on the very, I think, outskirts of the Redwoods and it's already breathtaking. You just got to come and see it. I know you've probably seen a lot of travel information or videos and pictures of this before, but yeah, it really is worth it. It really is this beautiful. We got more to come. I am, so we're here for probably about two days. We have another video that we're going to be doing a little bit further north, deeper into the forest, if we can get any deeper into the Redwood Forest. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the next time we come through, because obviously there's a whole bunch of hidden gems. Mm -hmm. Whether they're still active or not, or they're forgotten. here. And I kind of like that it's forgotten. I mean, I'd love to go inside, but yeah. seeing it like this, decayed, it's just kind of cool. I feel like a little bit of a, a goonie. A goonie. A goonie. I can see that. I can see that. Thank you for joining us again on another adventure. This time, the chandelier tree and the world-famous treehouse. Believe it or not, it's no longer here. With that being said... Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 